All right, so we're back out here at Elevated AF, and uh, everything's looking, other than our toy section here, it's looking pretty empty. But the other day, I went and picked up this Chevy 2500. It had no motor, no tranny, and we recently got a Cummins swapped in there with a brand new tranny. And uh, I haven't started it up yet. Now there is Chris, so uh, we're going to see how it sounds. Also, um, the other day, I blew up Cooper's truck. The one that I built him, his big old SEMA truck here, I took it out for a ride, and I blew it up. So the engine's toast, and we got to put a Cummins in there now. But let's see if this uh, Chevy will start up here. Oh, yeah. Fire's right up. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to uh, open up the other side here, and we'll get this on the lift, and then Chris can get to uh, work on getting this thing looking real nice. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribing helps me a lot and keeps me making videos just like this. And up it goes. No, 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 no. Okay, got to pull a little more forward. That that wasn't right. Hey, okay, how's this? This should do it. Eh, nope, 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 not quite. Dadgummit, I just, I can't get it up on that lift. Okay, I guess we're just gonna be using the jack instead, and Chris can get to work on that. But now we gotta figure out how to get this SEMA truck into the shop here. Also, we have a load of uh, new 2022 Outlanders coming in. We got a load in uh, a couple days ago, but they already sold the second they got here, so... We're getting more in, and I'm getting a personal one this time. Our forklift is uh, currently busy, so we're going to have to use the skid steer to try to get this thing off. Yeah, that's what our forklift is doing right now. Um, We're just going to leave that there. Slowly moving it in here. This thing is not light, so it's taking a lot to push this, but that should do it right there. Now, you know what? Maybe a little further. We got to get into that engine bay. This truck absolutely dwarfs this skid steer like it's nothing, and that should do it. Perfect. Anyway, now that we got the truck in here, we should be able to uh, finish up everything that needs to be done on it, but we have a small issue. So, basically, a tool you kind of need to pull an engine is called a cherry picker, and basically, it's like this mini crane that goes over top of the truck's hood, and you can kind of pick up the engine, whatever. I don't have that for this. I don't have a cherry picker that's tall enough. So I may just have to use the skid steer, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Chris, uh, enjoy your working on that uh, Chevy there. Yeah, probably going to take a little while. Anyway, most of my house is finally done here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to the shop there pretty quick because uh, we have that load of new can coming in about five minutes here. But let me just jump in here real quick. Yeah, look at this shop. Look at this. And then we've got my house. Most of this is finished. This isn't going to be the new shop, I don't think. I mean, I guess it technically could be. If we do move shops, I don't know. We'll see. But I kind of want to build something exactly like this, except without the house part, right over there. Because look at the lift setup we got going over here. Like, this is massive. Crazy big. And of course, it's kitted out with every tool you could possibly need. Like, we can literally build anything in here. But this was more of the personal shop, so eventually... We'll get the uh, elevated AF shop back up and go into the standard. And then, of course, I had to put like a little three-car garage here. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll get supercars. But as of now, I'll stick to my lifted trucks. Well, the Outlanders finally showed up here. Uh, this time, we don't have to use the forklift to uh, get them off the trailer. Last time, they were loaded up sideways, and that was a bit of an issue. But this should be a little bit easier. I'm going to pull this one right into the shop here because we got to get this all kitted out. This one's going to be the personal machine. The shop is looking kind of full at the moment. Yeah, I really got to upgrade the shop at some point. Where am I going to put this one? We'll put it right beside the Honda here. Yeah, this uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, that's work. It just dwarfs the Honda. Like, the Honda is super small compared to this uh, brand spanking new Outlander. All right, yeah, see, man, safe travels. Is he having trouble backing up? No, nah, I think he's just on his phone. I think we still got a cooler hauling rig than him, though. I prefer my Dodge. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Which do you prefer, the Dodge hauling rig or the Ford hauling rig? He's kind of got the cooler color match set up, but we could do the same with this. So Chris has told me that I need to take down my uh, perfect, nice little display here because he needs the dang forklift back. But I ain't gonna argue with him. We'll get the forklift back for him. I mean, the display does kind of look a little ridiculous, not gonna lie. So we'll just... Stick this forward back down here. Yeah, there you go. Maybe I just need a second forklift. That'd make life a lot easier. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do one thing before Chris gets this forklift back. I've got an idea. One way or another, I am gonna have some kind of a display. Oh boy, that's that's not gonna reach, is it? Okay, well, I, I have another idea. I have another idea. Don't worry. All right, so if we just go like this, not dumping this off the front. Yeah, that should about do it. And then just back that up like so. So, yep, there we go. Still not dadgum tall enough. Don't worry, I'm not out of ideas yet. Okay, we got it this far. If this ain't redneck ingenuity, I don't know what is. Hopefully, Chris has got that Chevy done soon. I want to take that out for a ride. Gonna be one heck of a truck. 
but back to what we're supposed to be doing here work activities of course okay go like that one more forward okay hopefully that'll do it easy easy careful careful if i can just lift the back tire up here yep there we go we got it okay i got the skid steer out of the way we almost got it we're close you know i really could have saved myself a lot of trouble by just getting literally a bigger forklift but you know what we're gonna make this work it's happening almost there and we got it how the heck did we make that happen that should have not been possible but you know what i ain't gonna complain we made it happen some way somehow i have engineered this expertly to work i feel like osha might have something to say about this here you go chris you can have your forklift i'm about done with it all right so we're currently on our way to go pick up a little uh, gmc 2500 cool little project truck we need some more uh, stock at elevated af so i figured that should do the trick i went to school with the guy that i'm buying it from a couple of years ago so uh yeah i'm getting a pretty good deal off of it all right so we're just ripping back here secured the truck uh i got it for really good price actually providing i do put uh rims and tires on the guy's new truck oh boy we're going all over the road here so i thought you know what that's a pretty good deal i got a couple sets laying around there that uh guys just didn't come pick up so i think we can make something happen for them you can hardly see that uh that little x3 up there i really got to build a better display at some point well i just finished having lunch here uh, i guess i'm gonna go check what chris is up to you know what he actually might be on lunch break oh yeah he's been moving some stuff around here chris he out here nah he's got to be on lunch break wait a minute where's that uh chevy where'd he put that um okay i guess we're gonna get this uh gmc here into the shop that way once chris gets back he can start working on it and i think he's still working on the ford there and then uh, i decided i was gonna rip my quad over to my personal shop there and get to work on it so we're gonna go work on that in a little bit nice little duramax gmc got it straight piped there so it sounds pretty good got a lot of it color matched but uh not all of it and honestly i think we're just gonna throw maybe a little bit of a lift bigger lift on it and some rims and a little custom stuff and it's gonna be good to go to sell quick flip because these things sell like hotcakes they don't stay around the dealership long oh wait a minute there's the chevy oh chris really did put that uh, gmc front clip swap on there that does look a lot better i like that so really it is a chevy but he put a gmc front clip swap so i mean you know what it works i like it it looks good and i know the truck looks squatted trust me it's not it just it looks that way I, we don't know we we literally put a level on it and checked it it's not squatted we we have no idea why it looks like this but maybe it's just how everything looks with the uh traction bars and all that when we put the cummins motor in there we uh absolutely beefed the heck out of it so it is crazy fast it has a lot of crazy power but we're gonna go take it for a little bit of a drive this one should sell pretty soon as well once we get it out in the lot here oh we put the custom tail oh Oh, I didn't realize he put the rock lights on. Yeah, look at that. Rock lights. Oh, those light killer. Did he put some grill lights in there? I think he did. I think he did. Man, Chris really went to work on this one. Nice little truck. We didn't make it really roll that much coal, but the engine is absolutely beefed on this. So it's got power for days. Yeah, I swear this thing still looks squatted. I, I don't know why. Maybe I'll get Chris to put a block in the back or something. I'm not sure. Maybe that'll make it look a little more level, but I guess we'll see. For now, I'm just going to put it out on the uh, lot here, and anyone can come look at it and buy it if they want. Dear, I swear if y'all do not get out of here, there is going to be some consequences and that'll do man he really went all out with the archon caesars there they do look good all right so it's been a few days here i finally got my outlander done i'm kind of taking the day off so i gave chris the day off just so uh he could relax too but finally got this thing done a little bit of aftermarket rim with some assassinators on there put some snorkels on it aftermarket floorboards and a bit of an exhaust and then i tuned it so this thing goes crazy fast and i think we're gonna take it for a little bit of a ride oh yeah this thing does not ride well on pavement i will say that mud tires and pavement not a good mix but we're still gonna go uh see what we can do the highway's really quiet today so i might just try rip down there i mean i don't see the hurt in doing it on the highway we go oh man we're ripping Woo wee! you can really get going with this thing oh boy easy on the turn easy on the turn Woo. wait it. oh no that was a cop no 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 he's so gonna light me up Oh, yeah, he's got his lights on for me. He's coming. Let me just pull over to the side of the road here. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be driving this thing on the road. I just wanted to see how fast it would go. Well, I'm currently pulled over here. Um, He came up and talked to me and said, yeah, you, you can't be doing that. And it, that's that's understandable. I'm I'm probably not supposed to be on the road with this. I have plenty of land to ride, but you just, it, the highway, it's open. That's the only car I've seen in like the past 10 minutes just driving down there. So it's really open, but yeah, I guess. Well, we'll see how long this lasts. Well, we're currently taking the side of the highway home. 
Um, I got a pretty bad ticket, so we're just going to, uh, there's another cop down there. We're just gonna ride this side of the, uh, road here. Back over to the shop, and yeah, luckily we didn't get our quad impounded, which is nice. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.